There is doom and gloom all over the news about a housing bubble, but today we're gonna to talk about why that is not likely to happen anytime soon. Since we've had rising prices over the last several years, this has led some to believe that we are in a housing bubble. Today we're going to talk about three reasons why I believe that is simply not the case. The first reason a housing bubble is unlikely to occur right now is housing supply. Last year, we saw across the country home values rise by approximately 15%. Here in West Michigan, that number is closer to 20%. So homeowners gained on average 20% in equity last year. Even with this increase in home value, some buyers and sellers are still worried that this is not sustainable and that the market will correct and home values will depreciate. However, unlike the crash that happened in 2008, we have incredibly low housing inventory on the market. A balanced market is approximately six months of inventory. This means there are ample opportunities for both buyers and sellers. Here we are currently sitting in West Michigan at two weeks of inventory. So our inventory right now is lower than it's ever been. In comparison, in the years leading up to the 08 crash, 2005 to 2007, inventory was sitting around five months and quickly increased to 11 months. Once they got to that 11 month inventory level, the home price appreciation simply did not make sense and was unsustainable. Again, now we are in a completely different situation. We have such low inventory that it would take a very long time for us to catch up. So going back to high school economics, basic supply and demand is going to keep us out of a housing bubble this year. The second reason I believe we are not going to enter a housing bubble is housing demand. Let's look back at what's happening in the early 2000s. During that time, buyers were coming out of the woodwork and just buying up all the houses on the market. They were doing this without thinking financially about the impact of these purchases. And so with that, many buyers got themselves into financial trouble. Back then, the mortgage industry fed this frenzy. They were approving loans that never should have been approved. They were allowing people to put very little down and they were approving people with not even marginal credit scores. They were approving people who truly were not qualified to buy a home. In contrast, today, however, we have much tighter lending standards and this has helped to make sure that buyers that are purchasing in today's market are truly qualified and able to pay for the home that they are purchasing. The third reason we are not in a housing bubble is that homeowners have equity. Following the 2008 housing crash, there have been many economists, housing experts, data crunchers who have sought to figure out why did that happen? What led to that major downturn? One of the biggest contributing factors they found is a lack of equity during that time. As I already mentioned, buyers were buying homes with very little down and they simply did not have any equity. As soon as the slightest financial hiccup occurred, they were no longer able to make their payments and thus led to the foreclosure and short sale crisis. Along with this, lenders were also allowing people to take out home equity loans and go negative on their equity. People were literally using their homes like ATMs and cashing in on their home to buy and fund their lifestyles. Today, that is not going to happen. Lenders have very strict standards and they will not loan on more than what a home is worth. Additionally, as we already talked about in the beginning of this video, home equity increased in our area 20% last year. The average homeowner, in fact, gained $55,000 in equity last year. So even if a buyer in today's market got into a situation where they were having financial issues, they could simply sell the home. Again, we have low inventory, so their home would be in high demand and cash out their equity and not run into the foreclosure crisis we saw in 08. This positive equity situation puts homeowners in a much better place than they were in in 2008. Even though it may seem like we're in a frenzy like we were in 05, 06, 07, this frenzy is unlike any other that we've ever seen. And we are expected to continue to see rising home values for the next several years. For all of you who are waiting for home values to depreciate or to drop, I am here to burst your bubble that there is not going to be a housing bubble.